Second and goal from the one. This time, Canterman is in the backfield, gets the handoff, runs left, untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Cranford, Shane Canterman. And Shane Canterman, he's the bruiser. He is the north-south guy. You're not going to see him do too, too many end arounds, anything like that. He's going to ru- try to run straight through you. He was able to find a hole on the left side there. Cranford leads it 6 to nothing. Lucas Caldwell saved the touchdown for Cranford. But it will be first and goal. And this time, quick snap and running left into the end zone. Touchdown, North Brunswick Raiders is Frankie Garbolino himself. So Frankie goes to Hollywood. And so the Raiders rebound. They come back here, 7-6 Cranford. Opening minute gone by here in the second quarter. Second and goal from the four. Linsky to the left of Godwin, who takes the snap, fakes it, and runs up the middle. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cranford. Liam Godwin. So Godwin runs it in from four yards out. Cranford leads it 13 to 7, pending the extra point. It will be first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Out of the shotgun is Godwin. He'll throw it left to Linsky. Crossing the 20, 15, 10, 5. Near the left pylon in the front of the end zone, down at the 1. No, they signal touchdown. Touchdown, Cranford. Jahir DeWu tried to make the tackle in the front left corner of the end zone, but Linsky got there first. So Cranford scores, and they lead it 20-7. to seven. Second and goal from the two. 6-13 to go in the third. And again, Cranford with a 20-7 to seven lead, trying to put the hammer down on this game. So second and goal from the two. Canterman to the left of Godwin. He takes the snap, cuts it back up the middle, and rolls into the end zone. Touchdown, Cranford. Liam Godwin. His second touchdown run of the night. Throw a touchdown pass on top of that. Cranford now leads it 26-7 to here in the third quarter. It'll be at the five-yard line. So first and goal from the five. Frankie takes the snap, runs left. And it looks like he is out of bounds at the one. Forced out of bounds at the one-yard line. So a gain of four. It'll be second and goal from the one. 8.41, the clock stops. At, oh, no, I'm sorry. That was a touchdown. <laughs> I thought I thought the rest I didn't see the rest guys he was waving his arms but apparently that was a touchdown so touchdown North Brunswick Raiders Frankie Garbolino from five yards out third down and five from the six from the shotgun Godwin fakes and runs left and he'll have the end zone touchdown Cranford front left corner for Liam Godwin he faked a Kennerman ran left nobody touched him Cranford, second and seven from the 15, 57 seconds to go. So Cranford can just take a knee here and call it a night. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. So they're going to go into, Cranford will go into victory formation here. So the Cougars will improve to six and two on the year. And again, North Brunswick with their first loss of the season will drop to seven and one as Godwin takes the knee. And with 30 seconds to go, teams get ready to come out to the 50-yard line. North Brunswick has already started. They're ready to get on the bus and get up out of here. And so, looks like that will do it. That will be the final play. And so, my thanks again to Darren Torson, athletic director here at Cranford. And so, here at Memorial Stadium, or Memorial Field in Cranford, New Jersey, Officially, this game is over, and the Cranford Cougars defeat the North Brunswick Raiders by a score of 34-14.
here on a cold October evening in Cranford. Well, again, the Cranford running game was the story here. If I added up the numbers, I'm sure Cranford had it, you know, easily 200 yards of offense in the run game alone. Yeah, they had a big play down the field in the first half in the passing game, but, you know, it was just run the ball all night long for the Cougars. Liam Godwin had a couple of touchdowns in this game, a couple of touchdown runs and a touchdown pass. Shane Canterman with a touchdown run. And it was just that kind of night. Let me see if I can figure this out. But 34 to 14, Cranford wins it. Yet yeah, Godwin had Godwin had three touchdown runs on the night. So three touchdown runs and a touchdown pass. Shane Canterman with a touchdown run. And so there you have it. Five touchdowns for five touchdowns for Cranford. Four of them on the ground, and that's where they did their damage. It's as simple as that. And so again, Cranford improves to six and two. North Brunswick drops to seven and one, and both teams will await their fate in the state playoffs after this weekend.